What is up guys, it's your boy, let's get those Conqueror titles Cacus. And today, Grandmaster Nightfalls are finally live within Destiny 2 Season of the Wish after the most recent weekly reset. And the first week it's available, we have double Nightfall rewards and we have the extremely juicy brand new undercurrent grenade launcher available to acquire. This thing is looking like one of the best PvE grenade launchers in the entire game. So definitely worth grinding Grandmasters. So in this video, we're gonna be showcasing three incredibly powerful builds, one for each different class to help you get through this Grandmaster, as well as a bunch of tips for the strike itself. So let's get started here with those builds. And the first thing you need to know is the modifiers to be aware of. So importantly, we do have barrier and unstoppable champions. After that, there is an arc threat. Moving on from there, we have strand surge and solar surge. And then lastly, we have overcharged machine guns. Now let's start here with the Titan build that I played. I am gonna be a Strand Berserker Titan running Rally Barricade, Frenzied Blade, and Shackle Grenades because we do have the Dranger's Lash Aspect. This is a Suspend build, but I'm also running Banner of War just because it's so incredibly good. All you need is one melee or a finisher, and then as long as you're getting kills, you can easily keep it active for incredible survivability. After that, the fragments are gonna be Thread of Mind, Thread of Wisdom, Thread of Continuity, and Thread of Warding. Again, leaning very heavily into Suspend because the featured exotic armor piece is gonna be the Abeyant Leap. This allows uh, your Rally Barricades to shoot out three Suspending Blasts. Suspend is so good against champions, even barrier champions, like you just hold them there and just melt them while they're suspended. Any sort of powerful enemies, it's incredible in PvE. Moving on from there to the weaponry guys, First of all, I have the brand new Strand Bow for the dungeon. Bow for unstoppable rounds and Strand so I can use all of those insane Strand seasonal artifact perks. It was fine, but frankly, I didn't even use it that much because my other weapon, the Indebted Kindness, was so incredible. I was just crutching this so hard. This is a special weapon and it will also deal with the barrier champion shields because it's still a sidearm. I have the role here of Enlightened Action and Volt Shot. It was incredible. Incredible, but I would actually rather run my other role here with lead from gold because of how much heavy ammo we were producing. Now moving on from there guys, I was using a Galahorn to have rocket DPS for the rest of my teammates. Now. As for the armor perks here, we have Heavy Ammo Finder, Harmonic Siphon, and Powerful Friends on the helmet. Then after that, uh, for the gauntlets, we have Momentum Transfer, Bolstering Detonation, and Heavy Handed. Then guys, for the chest piece, we have the Trifecta of Resistances. And then for the legs, we have Solar Scavenger, super important for tons of galley ammo, and then Elemental Charge for picking up those tangles to get armor charged. And then for the class item, we have Utility Kickstart, just so I can spam that Suspending Blast so often, and also Reaper. Now moving on from there to our Warlock, uh, it was a Dawnblade Warlock, of course, with Well of Radiance, a Healing Rift, Incinerator Snap, Heal Grenades, and then we have Touch of Flame for the Acid, Aspect and Icarus Dash. Then for the fragments, we do have uh, Ember of Benevolence, Ember of Torches, Ember of Mercy, and Ember of Searing. Now, the featured exotic armor piece is going to be the Cenotaph Mask. This thing is incredible. It will mark powerful enemies you shoot, and if they're marked when your teammates kill them, it drops heavy for your teammates and special ammo for you. So you do need to use a trace rifle, and the trace rifle he was using is the incisor. This is the new Trials of Osiris Strand Trace Rifle. Strand for all of those uh, seasonal artifact benefits we talked about earlier, but this is not required. Any trace rifle will do, and if you want to use one in this kinetic slot, remember the new seasonal stasis trace rifle is a good Good choice here too. After that guys we have the Sunshot Hand Cannon, just a fantastic weapon especially this season for all of those solar weapon benefits from your seasonal artifact. And then lastly guys we're running just a god roll Apex Predator for that rocket DPS. Again solar for all the solar benefits. Now moving on to the armor mods here we have a Harmonic Siphon and double heavy ammo finder. Remember if you're the Cenotaph user you're not spawning heavy so you got to find it just normally. 
Then for the gauntlets, we have Focusing Strike and Double Impact Induction. Then we have uh, Harmonic Resistance, Concussive Dampener, and importantly, Arc Resistance. And then for the boots, we have Solar Scavenger. Then we have uh, Better Already and Recuperation for Survivability. And then for the Bond, we have Powerful Attraction and Double Bomber. Now guys, moving on from there to the Hunter. We are running Gunslinger specifically with Blade Barrage. Then we have Gambler's Dodge, we have Knife Trick, and then we have Healing Grenade. Our aspects are going to be Knock Em Down and On Your Mark, and the fragments are going to be Ember of Mercy, Ember of Singeing, Ember of Solace, Ember of Torches, and Ember of Searing. Now moving on from there, the featured exotic armor piece is the Lucky Pants. These are going to massively boost the damage of your hand cannon when you ready to a fully reloaded hand cannon. That's either kinetic or in this case solar because we are a solar subclass and the hand cannon we're using here is going to be the Malfeasance. This thing is unbelievably good, massive magazine size, great stats, uh, it causes explosions that will stun unstopped champions and it does bonus damage against Taken, and the entire strike is against Taken enemies. So that is very, very good. And if you have the Catalyst for Vorpal, it's going to be even better. And yet again, we have another Indebted Kindness to deal with those Barrier Champions. Now, this is kind of a, an Omega Brain play, but my teammate actually had Permeability. So you can turn it to Solar by using your Dodge, and it does get some of those Solar benefits. So it was like causing Scorch and stuff but it's pretty much impossible to get up precision kills with this thing, so maybe a little too big brain in reality, probably Volt Shot is just better. Moving on from there, yet another God Tier Apex Predator. But next up for the armor mods, we have Heavy Ammo Scout and Heavy Ammo Finder, as well as Kinetic Siphon for the helmet. Then for the gauntlets, we have Impact Induction, Focusing Strike, and Kinetic Loader. Then for the chest piece, we have the trifecta of resistances. After that, guys, for the legs, we have harmonic scavenger and then kinetic weapon surge and a recuperation. And then lastly, on the cloak here, we have Reaper as well as Powerful Attraction and a Bomber. Now, I do want to mention, speaking of those seasonal artifact perks, some ones that you absolutely want to look out for. If you can fit an Argent Ordnance on, that's going to improve your rocket damage output if you are using those. And another one from whence you came, increased ability damage to Taken and Scorn. That's what we're facing in this Grandmaster. But moving on from there, we have some tips for the strike itself. So upon just starting in, get that cheeky melee or finisher for your banner of war, and then you have to escort this object. Just remember guys, you don't need to stand on it and you shouldn't stand near it when you're being pressured by enemies. It's very easy to just clear a wave and then go back to this object and then move it along. If you're staying right next to it, that's a good way to get overwhelmed by too many enemy spawns and just die. And then in the next section, well, you're escorting it again, so the same tips would apply. Actually, specifically in this part, as you can see, as it continues forward and more enemies spawn, enemies kind of spawn like beside and behind you randomly. So our team almost wiped here because, again, there's literally enemies behind us now. So really make sure you're watching out for that. Now, once you do eventually escort it uh, all the way up, you will have a big meatball boss to take down. So this is a great chance chance to put down your well and go to town with your rockets. Just be careful about dumping all your rockets in because as you can see there are going to be uh, these side blights that make it immune that spawn so you're gonna have to take those down before you can start DPSing again. Now, moving on from there, you're going to make your way through the dam, kind of taking out enemies as you encounter them. But then we get to this section right here, where there's a long hallway. And as soon as you come out of the door, there's two massive phalanx right in front of you. Absolutely, suspend is clutch right here. As you can see, just an easy suspend of both of them. And then we can just easily take them down. But as soon as you do, you're going to have the Cabal Thresher ship spawn in. This thing is deadly. You can see how much firepower it's putting at this doorway and you can easily die to this thing. So make sure to maybe like put a rift or throw a healing grenade and then get out and take that Thresher down 
it's absolutely worth spending your rockets on taking that thing down because again it can just destroy your team now moving on from there as you continue forward along the dam another thresher will spawn so same thing take that thing down as quickly as you can and then eventually you're going to get back inside here and just remember, as you're going through this strike, there is a ton of champions and also many boss enemies that you're fighting. If you are using a Cenotaph, you're going to be getting so much heavy ammo that pretty much every single group of enemies you come across, you know, yeet a Galahorn, yeet an Apex Predator into that group because in the very next group, there's going to be a champion that you can just mark and generate even more heavy from. Eventually, when you get to this room here, just a little bit of a warning, uh, it has a ton of the Taken Blights that can push you around and then there's the ground that can damage you just shoot a rocket in or something from outside this room before you get in you don't want to have a ton of enemies you know shooting you while you're in here uh, then you take down these two kind of mini bosses and then importantly we have a tormentor here so if you are running rockets which is fantastic for the boss the rockets are not good against the tormentor luckily suspend is as you can see you can just bully the tormentor with suspend and if you do have uh, your uh, super as you can see right here it's also just incredible for easily taking this guy down you can really just constantly suspend lock this guy he'll never even be able to do damage to you now moving on from there we're going to continue forward until eventually you get to the boss room just be careful like just as you're about to jump out there is is the final champion you're going to face here and another Colossus like they can do a lot of damage here so either just kind of be very careful like peeking over this corner here or jump down behind cover right away when all your teammates are all right there just so that uh, you don't have people jumping into Colossus rockets and stuff uh, but we kind of took it the safe way and then you're also going to see we just wait and that's because our teammate had used uh, his well in the previous encounter against the Tormentor. Didn't actually need to, but you know, it is what it is. And frankly, guys, it's better to just take a couple extra minutes and wait for your well to come back because we are going to go for just the immediate melt on the boss. So once that well did come back, we uh, destroy this thing, the boss spawns, and then plant that well, get a debuff. And thankfully you have the seasonal artifact perk that makes solar abilities cause weaken and then just absolutely go to town with your rockets. And as you can see, even if you completely run out of rockets like me on this part, uh, you can also rely on stuff like your rocket sidearm, your strand melees in my case, blade barrage, any of your supers should be able to finish this guy off if you have like any sort of you know, decent degree of rocket ammo to start with. This guy is pretty easy to take down. And then when you do kill him, you don't have to worry about anything else. No more champions spawn if you go for the melt here. So you can just take this guy down and get your sweet, sweet loot, which is doubled this week, remember. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.